and it's Elisa from Anaya's Toy Box Crochet and I thought I would show you how I make eyes. Um, this is not an instructional video. I am planning to needle, point, needle felt her eyes. I am not confident in my needle felting to, I don't feel like I can instruct uh, just because I'm I'm still experimenting and learning myself and it just feels like it'll be odd for me to teach and so um, I'm just gonna show you what I do that's all I'm doing uh, so I'm just gonna show you my supplies first this is the roving wool that I, I will use to needle felt I got this supply this and this case right here came from Amazon inside here what are like these scissors and you know these stuff that I've never really used so what you really need is I didn't even use the scissors I used my regular own scissors uh, you need the needles and the needles for needle felting is different than they are anywhere else this is what a needle felting needle looks like oh my gosh the, everything is so in my face the lights are so bright in my eyes I can't even see the camera so this is what a needle felting needle looks like if you look it's kind of like flat and these things break so easily they break so easily I've gone through all the ones I got originally and have bought more um, especially when you're learning I think it's just really really hard so it also came with a handle is this the handle yes so you put it in here like this, like this, and then you stick it in here. I found this handle super, super annoying and super, super difficult to work with. So I bought my own pen separately. It looks like a pen. It acts like a, you hold it like a pen, but basically you unscrew it and you stick your needle in here like that and then screw it back up and then you have a lot a much much more comfortable uh, tool to work with so this is what I bought separately you could put up to three and I think that's because if you're working on something big maybe three needles is what you need um, like I said I'm new to this I'm really am so I'm not sure how it works so this is the doll I'm going to uh, needle felt her eyes on I've already finished pretty much everything. I showed it to you before I decided to sew on the dress because I didn't want to deal with it. I crocheted a few more strands of hair and now I'll, I still have to sew it on. I kept it like this for reference. Uh, so I know where her hair is going to fall when I'm making the eyes because I just, I just want it as nice as I could. So about eye placement. Um, if you look at drawings or drawing tutorials, of um, eyes they will always tell you to always put it in the middle of your head uh, the middle of the head of the drawing and that's because that's more or less where your eyes are on your own head it's at the middle of your head um, because of hair and everything it looks like it's higher but it isn't so you always have to make sure you start at the middle I like to keep my eyes lower I think it gives it a more cute innocent I'm um, sorry about that my kids are playing um, there is no silence in my house. It's really, really hard to get. Even at night when they should be in bed, they are gabbing with each other and yelling. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, as I was saying, I like to put my eyes a little bit lower than the middle because I feel like it just gives a more cute and innocent look to the doll. Um, I didn't bring any dolls with me to show you. Everything is in my bedroom so I have nothing to show you to show how I choose to put the eyes but I'll be putting around here um, while in uh, embroidery I super super plan how the eyes are gonna go and where do I'm gonna put the eyes with needle felting I'm a little bit less um, I plan it a little less I do still pay attention to the stitches and where the stitches are but it's not as uber plant. Uh, I will be using some crochet thread. Uh, I will be using some thread, which 
I left over there, so I'm going to have to go get it. I am going to be using some thread, and I am going to be using these colors. So I'm going to do blue eyes, and I'm thinking, I might change my mind, but I'm thinking like the dark blue rim of the eye. So this is the eyeball, and this is going to be the dark blue rim. I may change my mind and decide on a lighter, like, for instance, this color as the rim and make it more realistic looking. I'm not sure. Or I might decide to go with a gray instead. But for now, these are the colors I am looking at. I'm not sure exactly what the rim color will be, but I will find out soon enough into this process because once I start, the eyeballs is what I start with. So uh, anyways, I'm gonna turn off the camera for a little bit. I'm gonna bring the camera closer to the doll so hopefully I can be a little bit more comfortable when I'm actually doing the needle felting. Um, eyes in general for me are hard. Uh, whether I use safety eyes, I'm always second guessing my placement of safety eyes. Whether I am using needle felting, uh, needle felting takes time, it takes effort. And whether I'm using embroidery, which also takes time and effort. Eyes for me are always hard and what makes it the hardest is that the eyes make or break the doll. If you place your safety eyes in the wrong place, your eyes are not gonna be, your doll is not gonna be as beautiful. If you place your embroidery or your needle felted eyes in the wrong place, if you by accident make one bigger than the other, all of these things are gonna mess up your doll. So eyes in general are super hard. They stress me out. I slow down when I get to heads, not because heads are hard to make, but because I know the eyes are coming and the dread starts coming inside me. And I'm like, oh no, I'm coming close to the eyes. I, this doll has been ready in every other sense besides I needed, I wanted to make the eyes before I sewed on the hair. So in every other thing, like the hat is finished, the clothes are finished, the hair is finished, everything is ready for it to be put together except for the eyes. And I have been delaying the eyes. But that's it. I'm doing it today and I'm doing it in front of you. Um, this is again, I will tell you again that this is not an instructional video. This is just a video showing you what I do. I am not giving you any instruction on how to do it. Uh, I just don't feel like I am proficient enough to give good advice on how to do it. I am just going to do what I would normally do and I'm filming it. Uh, I'm not going to be talking throughout this video. I will be hopefully fast forwarding it so it's sped up for you so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Uh, well, you don't have to watch it in the amount of time it usually takes me, uh, which would make a really, really, really long video if I can't speed it up. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm going to be doing it sped up. I won't be talking. I will probably try to find a song or something to put on top of it uh, when I'm doing it, but there will be no instructions. I showed you my materials. I showed you, I told you about how I'm going to place eyes and that's all there's going to be. And the rest is just you watching me do it. If this is not interesting to you, if you would rather have step-by-step -step instructions on how to needle felt eyes, I understand. Of course you would, but this is not the video for you. This is just a video of me needle felting. Um, I hope that by watching me that you can learn a little bit of how to do it. And again, I am not an expert. I am a beginner at this. Um, well, maybe not a beginner. I've done a few of them. So I'm not an expert in this, and that's why I am not comfortable instructing how to do it. I am just showing you how I do it. Uh, anyways, uh, we're going to start right now. Okay, so um, I didn't end up finding music, so I thought, well, I did find music, but I didn't want to put it on. I thought I'd just talk a little bit about what I'm doing. Over here, I chose the eye color, and I'm just, you know, poking through, because that's what you do with the uh, needle felting. You just poke, poke, poke. Um, the only problem is the needle is very fragile, so I'm being really careful not to break the bead needle. 
So I'm um, sorry, my hands are covering a lot of it. It was really awkward. I didn't think it would be this awkward to do it because I kind of am leaning over the table and trying to, you know, when I did the the how to change colors in amigurumi video i thought it was because i was on the bed it was so awkward but you know what being stiff and trying to stay on frame uh it's hard it's really hard i didn't i, I underestimated how hard it would be but anyways i i'm making the eyeballs i'm pretty sure i was done and then i realized whoops i'm not done i still have to put the the rim of the eyes so that's when i chose the gray instead of the other blues although uh, I did check to see if I like the dark blue. I like the gray better. So I made a gray rim around the pupils. And unfortunately, my hand is covering a lot of it. But what can I do? I um, I suddenly noticed that. So I turned her around. And even then, she's I'm still covering it with my hand. Um, anyways. So there we are. I finished putting one gray rim. And I'm going to start the other. And I'm sure my hand's going to be covering it again. And guess what? I covered it again. Oh, boy. <laughs> Anyways, so this is, again, I'm just poking the, the gray felt around the, the blue that I just did. And uh, you can't see me doing it because I covered it completely with my hands. I trimmed off the excess and I just, you know, looked at details and kept going. Now I'm putting the whites. Now, you're going to see the white. When I'm doing the white, I take it off camera often. Because of the light, the white was really super hard to see. I had, like, I think the hardest time I had, not because this was the hardest part of it, all of it is hard, but the hardest time I had was with the whites of the eyes because of the lights. And I just had a really hard time seeing what I was doing. So if you keep watching, you're going to see I'm going to take the doll off camera, away from the light a few times, just to see if I'm doing it right. Uh, this was, um, yeah. Also, I, find, I thought that I placed the eyes a bit too close to each other at this point, but I wasn't sure. I had a suspicion I was right. I did put them too close to each other. But at the time, I just went on with it and um, yeah. I went on with it and it is what it is it's not the best eyes I've done like I said eye placement is always the hardest part uh, well not eye placement eyes are the hardest part but eye placements are really difficult to do so here I am see I took it off camera just then sorry I'm covering it up again See, at this point, I noticed, oh, my hands are covering it up. And so I'm trying not to. Uh, it doesn't always work because, you know, when you're into something, you're into it and you're doing it. And um, but whenever I noticed, oh, I'm covering it up, I did try to stop myself and fix it. As you can see, that didn't always work. And yes, the camera was right next to me. But I don't know. I think because of the lights and everything, it just looked a little dim. So I wasn't sure always what I was seeing in the camera when I glanced over. But at this point, I'm really struggling. I'm really struggling because I'm having a really hard time seeing the white. Um, yeah, so at this point, that's what I'm doing. Working on the whites of the eyes. Yep. Yeah. I think that that is what I struggled like today's the next day last night what I struggled the most on was getting the whites on because I just didn't see it properly as you can see I pulled out some of it because I didn't make it right and so then I redid that part you know you have to fluff off the wool if you're going to reuse it but sometimes you can't even reuse it because it's done like if I were to take the eyes out today it's done I can't do anything with it. I'm not going to take the eyes out. Oh my gosh. This may come out as just half an hour video or so. Or maybe a little bit more than that. But it did not take me half an hour. It took me so much longer. So I'm going to put the pupils on right now. And I'm working on the pupils. Um, at, this pa at this point, my phone camera, my phone um, battery was dying. I didn't know this and uh, so I'm working on the pupil I didn't like the way this pupil was turning out so I, I did fix it I mean I did go back to it and fix it I don't think I caught it on camera because I wasn't looking I was concentrating 
Uh, oh, at that point, did you see I was trying to change the needles because I was having a hard time with that needle and the needles I used were super flimsy. Like this one was the, the one I started off with was the best, but I tried the two other needles. I didn't like it. I switched it. I didn't like it. Anyways, uh, here's the point where I finished the eyes. You didn't see me finish the pupils because I didn't realize that the phone had died and I had just gone off continued with the thing and then all of a notice all of a sudden I noticed my phone had died and so I had taken a break at this point um about you know I let it charge up to like 35 percent or 40 percent and then I restarted it so I am fresh from a break and to tell you the truth I don't like taking breaks when I'm um, making eyes well not that this is my only break I took a few breaks at the beginning too because mommy I can't find this and mommy what's this and then we had a nosebleed to, bleed to deal with so there are a few breaks in this video before all this time. Um, I don't like doing that, but what can I do? I just showed you a picture. I just showed you the doll where I needle felt it the last time. Um, so I fin I'm finished with the needle felting. And so I always do the eyelashes with, um, with thread because it's a lot easier. With needle felting, it's hard. So over here, I just made a mistake. And I didn't notice I made it the mistake. I made the mistake and so I went on here you know continuing I made some really nice oh pliers pliers are a girl's best friend when doing any type of eyes oh well maybe not safety eyes but eyes pliers are a girl's best friend uh, anyway so I went on and I made all the eyelashes and really I love the eyelashes the way I made it at this point now they don't always turn out good but this time my eyelashes turned out really really nice and I made it and I was so happy and then I saw the mistake I made which was um, I went I didn't count the stitches properly and I went a little too far with the first eye and because of that I had to pull it out so I turned off the camera at that point and I thought I'll just well I'll tell you around here this is when I noticed I made the mistake and then I started pulling it out and I realized I'm gonna turn off the camera and do it and then work back to this because this is a really long video as it is it's you know I'm almost like two hours into it as you can see now the other eyelashes done is because I turned off the camera and I forgot to turn it back on when I started with the eyelashes um, so that didn't get recorded uh, so here I am I'm tying off the yarn because you know I don't want it to you know fall off so I turn off the yarn cut it off and now I'm starting with the eye eyebrows I had a little bit of pro the first eyebrow turned out so beautiful um, the second eyebrow not so much it was uh, yeah at this point I'm already really tired I'm a few hours into it uh, not a few hours I'm like a, uh, an hour and a half into making this face I had some problems with recording and here I am trying to get this eyebrow right and it's not working and uh, you see you see me counting the stitches right there I'm counting it over and over again just to make sure that I got it right this time so I didn't have to undo it uh, anyways I finally got the eyebrows right I am you know tying it up because you don't want your eyebrows to fall off and then I'm gonna make the nose so for the nose I like to use like when I'm finishing off the head of the doll, I leave a long tear. Uh, I close off the top of the doll and then I take the the yarn from closing off the doll uh, that I left the long tail of and I use that to make a nose. And I don't know, I just like it better that way. I feel it's more secure. And so here I am, I'm just going over one stitch over and over and over again to make the nose until I'm satisfied. Uh, I tie it up, I do a half hitch knot. No, I don't, I do, I don't know what the knot is called. And so I do a little knot and then I, here I am adding the lips. There are fancier lips out there and I I tend to, I don't know, I feel like I've tried to make fancy lips but I always feel like when you work so hard and make stunning eyes and then you make fancy lips your attention is kind of divided between the two of them. So I just made regular lips. Yeah, so that's the doll. That's how I did it. I hope you enjoyed it. and. Okay, so I'm done with my face. It's been a few hours since I started this video. Um, it's it's okay, I guess. Um, I find 
that I'm not sure I'm not oh sorry about that I'm not completely satisfied but seriously I'm not going through those hours of work again I am definitely I definitely need a lot more practice in needle felting eyes um, it's okay it's not bad I mean I, I would ideally if it wasn't so hard and if it didn't take so long I would pull it out and restart it but it took hours it does take hours so I really don't think I'm going to do that I think it's just gonna stay the way it is and it's a learning experience hopefully the next time I make eyes it'll be better oh uh, and also we're doing this at night yeah, somebody is just so excited I'm filming that she's not sleeping even though it's no, very I, I, late. No, I can't sleep. Okay. She can't sleep. It's very late. I am tired. I've been at this for a few hours. I had to take a break because my camera died and uh, I needed to charge again, so I did take a break. You're not using and my phone died, and so I had to re uh, charge it and uh, start all over or, you know, wait for it to charge up again so I could continue but this is my doll this is Glinda the witch all I have now left to do is sew up the hair because it's not sewed up you can see it's pinned on and uh, I'll probably s I'm debating on whether she I want to very beautiful clips <laughs> they're pins I know uh, anyways I'm going to uh, I'm not. I'm still debating on whether I'm going to sew her hat on her head. I think I will because everything else is sewed on. So it just feels like well, since everything else is sewed on, the hat should be sewed on too. Um, yeah. I hope you like this video. I hope you might have learned a little bit about needle felting. I'm not so sure that I did teach anything. To tell you the truth, I messed up a lot. Yes. Um, yeah. Anyways. Here she is, my doll with not so perfect eyes. Next time will be better. This Always... video out of all videos needs a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, I'll, I'll make it, don't worry. Anyways, if you like this video, please give the video a like. Uh, if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe. I am exhausted right now. I think I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> Um, hopefully this one who's still up will too. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye. Peace.